Greetings, Sean here from Hollow.com, and in today's lesson, I'm going to show you the simple Windows calculator and all of its robust features. From a first glance, the Windows calculator is just a simple calculator, but it really is more than that. To launch the calculator, just open the Start menu and then type in CALC in the search field and then hit Enter. Now you can use the calculator with the mouse by pressing the number buttons, and you can also use the number keys on your keyboard. If you're using the number pad on your keyboard, just make sure you have your numlock on. One thing that most users do not know about the calculator is that it has four interfaces. Standard, Scientific, Programmer, and Statistics. And you can swap between each mode by clicking the View button and then selecting the mode you'd like to use. Another feature on the calculator is the History feature that allows you to go back to view your calculations just the same way you would if you had a paper printout. To view your history, just click on the View button and then History, and then you can navigate your history with the up and down arrows at the top. The calculator also comes with unit conversion. And to bring up the unit converter, just click on View, then click on Unit Conversion. Now if you wanted to convert, let's say, an inch to a centimeter, just select Length, then Inch, then Centimeters, then just put a number in the From section. Also, there is a Date Calculations tab just under Unit Conversion from the View tab. Now with this, you can see the time between two set points very easily. And lastly, the calculator has worksheets. To access the worksheets, just click on View, then select Worksheets, then select the type of worksheet you would like. There is a Mortgage, Vehicle Lease, and Fuel Economy worksheet. Now with the Mortgage worksheet, you can view your down payment, monthly payment, purchase price, and term. With the Vehicle Lease worksheet, you can find Lease Value, Lease Period, Payment, and Residual Value. Then the Fuel Economy Worksheet, where you can find your distance, fuel economy, and fuel used. And that's the calculator in Windows 7. Simple at first glance, but it has depth. Now to stay connected to this learning course, make sure to subscribe, and feel free to rate and comment below. And thanks for watching.